Well, give us a, a story from, from your, or multiple stories from your, your own experience of some failures and mistakes that you kind of I could probably talk for learned. days on end about yeah. how many are. Um, no, uh, that's why you're see. so wise. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> no, the, um, uh, I remember when I first was getting into this, and I kind of learned this lesson, um, uh, I got, started getting a few more projects, and um, there was one that I was programming on, I was doing it all myself. It was just me. Yeah. And I kind of always thought I'm such a hard worker, I'm so determined, I could just kind of work indefinitely. Um, you know, and, you know, I'll be able to like, you know, basically crank out all these projects. Yeah. And there was one that um, I just couldn't get done. I mean, it was just I couldn't get done in time. I was it was hard to stay motivated to work on it, and um, and so you know that you know the project, uh, you know, it it wasn't a large project. You know, this is long, long time ago. Yeah. Um, but the you know it definitely failed. Yeah. And so, you know, I tried to, like, when that was done, I tried to think, okay, you know, what did I, you know, how do I need to improve this? So you didn't finish it? Didn't you finish didn't, it. You weren't able to deliver it to the client? Wasn't able to deliver it. Um, and I actually, it was maybe like, you know, a $2,200 project. Okay. Um, but I just, you know, and programmers tend to underestimate and think they can do more than yeah. the nature of, a, you know, computer folks. We all are, it's hard to estimate. Yeah. Um, and so... Um, you know, I, I I did that, and so um, I ended up you know just telling him I'm sorry. I just can't get this done done in time. You know, uh, you know it won't cost you your money back. Yeah. yeah, and so um, and you know I was you know like 23, 24 years old, um, and so but pretty quickly I realized like you know um, you know based on that I was like okay I either need to um, you know manage my time better, not take on as much, or you know start trying to hire people. Mm -hmm. you know, if I want to be, you know, in this game of doing multiple projects. Yeah. Um, and so I kind of thought about, do I even want to do that? I mean, do I want to be doing multiple projects? Would I be happy just kind of programming one at a time, waiting for the next thing to come along? Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I kind of came to the conclusion that I think it would be worth me, you know, starting to hire folks. Okay. Um, so, like, that failure actually, like, kind of bounced me into, uh, okay, make something good happen from this. Yeah. And so... Um, but that, that actually was fairly significant for me because I was always such a hard, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not the uh, smartest guy in the room, but I'm, I'm, I will work pretty hard and like, you know, I want to, I'm determined to make things, uh, to do things right and do a good job. Yeah. And so, you know, that, that kind of, that hit me kind of hard and then I kind of just uh, said, okay, I better figure out some way to, uh, you know, at least make this where I, you know, turn into something positive. So at the time, do you, where do you feel like the mistake you know, lied. Was it the fact that you took on more that you than you could handle, or did you feel like it was, um, you know, you just weren't capable as you know in that I guess whatever area of no, it's just simply was, uh, took on more than I could to handle. More. Yeah, yeah, and so and then I started noticing that's a problem. You know, in a lot of mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, businesses and a lot of service businesses. Yeah, um, and so you know, like when uh, as we started. Um, you know, we've done more projects and started growing. I started, you know, sort of constantly thinking about that one event, thinking, okay, how do we mix and match and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, be honest with ourselves on time and, you know, and that kind of thing. And just how do we mitigate yeah. again, the chance of that, that, that kind of failure happening? Yeah, because, I mean, that's a, I think a lot of businesses go through that when they hit some growth. Yeah. Cause it really is. I mean, growth is kind of like, it, it, it's a wave and you really have to, Stay, yeah, it's hard to find tell, a certain yeah. balance to be able to to ride that wave. Yeah, you don't want to overexpand or not underexpand either. So, um, yeah, you know, I think that's a challenge for um, again, I guess probably any business, but um, but definitely any kind of service business, anyone, who's, anything where you're basing your, uh, you know, you're getting paid for your time. So, did you learn that lesson there, and, or were you able to kind of like reapply that as you? move forward and hire your first person and then we still even like okay let's still not take on too much even though we're two people now yeah that exactly same yeah. kind of thing yeah so the back here you know as you start even adding people it's sort of like um you know how do i keep on mitigating this risk yeah you know that you know and so you're all you know just like one thing you have on your mind that, yeah. you know, okay i learned from that and um you know I, yeah. you know i'm not that i'm 
you know, none of us are perfect at it, but you know, at least yeah. you're aware of it. You're trying. Yeah. So. But whereas before, you really hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, you I thought, figured I could just go ahead and crank it out. Yeah, on, you just, the weekend. And, whatever, you know. Yeah. I don't need to sleep. Yeah, yeah that's what that's coffee's right. for. Yeah, kind that's of right. Thing. That's right. So that's cool. Um, well, you got some more story stories. Um, let's see. Um, on um, way back, and I've been pretty big on this on the IT side, and everyone's hit this, and in fact, nowadays people still hit it, is, um, so like, you know, we're doing like, you know, our, our little company, we're doing like, you know, like I said, programming, web development, and IT networks. Yeah. Um, so we're pretty much like pure computer geeks, that's really yeah. what it comes down to, but, um, you know, that. You, um, um, you know, we've all hit that thing at some point where um, someone, uh, you know, something goes wrong with their server or their computer or their laptop and they don't have a backup. Okay. And so, you know, we, when I, um, you know, that's happened, you know, for, you know, me personally, you know, yeah. I, I backed it up, you know, you know, a, a month ago and I meant to do it, whatever. Yeah. And so, you know, immediately, you know, once you have your first, um, you know, it's just a small thing, but it can turn into a big thing. You know, once you have your first hard drive crash, Okay, you kind of learn, okay, every client we're working on, you know, we're going to mitigate the risk of that happening to them. Um, and in turn, we're going to mitigate the risk of that happening to, to them. And so, you know, like on that kind of thing, you know, again, you sort of probably should think of that before, but you're busy yeah. and you don't. Sure. Um, you know, we kind of like made that a priority, that we're going to mitigate risks every which way on stuff we know that can fail. Yeah. Um, so that um, you know again way back in the network world I just started seeing people having trouble where they call and say oh I can't you know get my backup uh, uh, back I don't have a backup um, and so pretty early on we were kind of into that um, just you know again making sure that, that um, you know that nothing could be a catastrophe setting up fail safes for your clients yeah in addition, I, which is something that you learned from your own internally yeah yeah, yeah. so um, Let's see, other, uh, so just that was just in a general sense. Um, we, um, I've also had, um, you know, various um, outside of just Atiba, like our company. Mm -hmm. um, I've, you know, um, I enjoy, you know, working with a lot of folks in Nashville and, um, you know, it's been fun for me to make friends um, with other entrepreneurs, especially. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a few things like, you know, I've um, invested in, you know, and, uh, you know, unrelated to our business. And, you know, looking back, I was like, if that was a low chance of success, you know, I probably yeah. shouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> and so now I'm more careful with that kind of thing. Um, yeah. And so, um, so not so much necessarily like, you know, business size. I mean, we definitely have our uh, good and bad days. Mm -hmm. um, but just even just like in life in general, you know, you know, we kind of hit hit various little bumps yeah. where, um, you know, I've made definitely made mistakes and you know, just try to learn.